Hi everybody, you want to join me for a Friday series? I've got lots to tell you about. Well, it's a perfect day to catch up for a cup out here because the temperature's quite nice, it's 17 degrees, there's no rain. I just had a couple of showers a bit earlier and birds are tweeting and I thought I'd bring you out and see all of my beautiful trees, how they look this time of year because I think they're just as beautiful through the winter period because look at the, look at the framework behind the leaves. This is my mulberry tree and every year when the leaves fall off, I'm just amazed to see that structure behind uh, behind those leaves and how beautiful it looks. So I thought it might be nice to uh, get a, bit of, a little bit of sunshine, a bit of vitamin D while I can. Now I know most of you are already subscribed that watch the channel, but if you're not and you don't want to miss out on any of my episodes, why not think about subscribing to the channel and also hitting that notification bell if you want to be notified when all my new episodes are coming out. Let's talk about challenges, what's happening in the sewing community. I'm all about supporting other sewists and I know that So Joey has got a wonderful t-shirt challenge happening for the month of June. You can make a t-shirt. There's a lot of prizes in store as well. I'll pop up some little cards so you can see exactly what's happening there. And I think she would just love it if everyone got on board and sewed up some kind of t-shirt for you guys in the Northern Hemisphere. That's all about the warmer weather. This is a really fun, easy challenge. We all know how great t-shirts are in the wardrobe. It's just that you can never really have enough t-shirts. And I think the amount of prizes here on show are going to be really simply amazing. So think about um, hashtagging your t-shirt when you make it over on Instagram and following along with the So Joey hashtag. Now for some time now I have been meaning to spend my voucher. Spotlight have got the $40 voucher. Now if you are a VIP member you will notice that you would have received either an email voucher or in your letterbox and that is if you spend $100 in Spotlight on anything you get $40 off so $40 voucher. But yesterday I went into my little local Spotlight. Now my local Spotlight is about half an hour away and it's quite small but it's really nicely organized but yesterday the clearance table was just uh, an utter mess but I'm one of those people that likes rummaging through things so I'm partly to blame for that so I had a little look through there and I found a couple of things um, but I also wanted to um, have a look at their new uh, sateen cotton sateen range that they had in as well because I'd heard good things about it so I'll show you exactly what I got with this now the spotlight voucher does end on the 30th of May so don't forget you can use it online uh, it's a really great way to take advantage if you need to stock up on supplies I, I bought lots of elastic as well um, I do order all my haberdashery kind of threads, um, cottons and things like that and zips and elastic from Jame Embroideries here in Victoria but I forgot to order the thinner elastic which is what I needed so I popped into Spotlight and grabbed that so I thought while I'm there I'll spend the voucher and I wanted it to add up to exactly $100 to take the full benefit um, to get the $40 off so I'll show you what I bought. Firstly I bought uh, on the clearance table now this is a cotton linen uh, print and I really, really love the geometric shapes on there and the color and it's quite texturized the fabric as well. But I love the colors. I'm into the whole rust thing at the moment and I especially love it with the gray and with the mustard. I'll show you up close for that one. Now uh, I've been told I need to hold the fabric still so you can see a bit longer. And it's got quite a nice weight to it as well. And this one I'm thinking of making the paper cut patterns or a dress, the new release that was last month. And I saw this one on Gabrielle and I thought, I really love this dress. I'm just not sure if it's something I can pull off. But when I saw it on Gabrielle, I thought it looked fantastic on her. Uh, I wanted to make sure I made it in some kind of a structured fabric. Now, I think Adele from Button and Pip made a beautiful version in a print colored rayon. I just fell in love with it on her. I thought she looked beautiful in that. Um, but I wanted to make it in something a little bit more structured, a bit more winter weight. And I thought that will look really nice with some boots for winter or even some little ankle boots and tights. So that was a bargain. Got that for $11 a meter. Needed 3.7 meters of that one. I think it's a it's 112. It's a bit, bit more of a narrow width fabric. So I needed a little bit extra. Um, to make that dress so yeah really excited to make that dress that could be one maybe on the cards for maybe around my birthday which is July so I will be planning to make one of those up very shortly for you to see now the other fabric I've been eyeing off online there's quite a few new prints in the new cotton sateen range at Spotlight it's a much softer lighter weight sateen than what they normally have they normally have quite a thick sort of structured sateen 
that doesn't have a lot of um, drape to it. This has got a tiny bit of drape, but it's got a beautiful sheen. Uh, the colors in this just spoke to me straight away. Now this has got 30% uh, off on the cotton sateen range. I think it's normally 27 a meter. Uh, it came down to 17.50 a meter. So that was a really good uh, bargain. So I needed about three meters of this one. So with those fabrics and the elastic came to just on a hundred, that was a hundred dollars and 15 cents. So I got $40 off. So I was very happy with that. And this is absolutely stunning. I can see that with a pair of tan boots as well. Hold that still for you to see. And you'll know what I mean about having a tiny bit of drape as well for a sateen. It's got a really, really nice weight um, it's their new premium digital print uh, cotton sateen. So I will link that fabric. And there's a couple more beautiful colorways there. The uh, paisley, beautiful black and red paisley, and another navy paisley background. Just stunning. So I really, really love that. Now this I had in mind to make the Sewing Revival Nikau dress or the Heron dress, the new release Heron dress. Now the Heron dress is the one I've made in the top. I love that pattern. Absolutely beautiful pattern. But wanting to make their dress version in a drawstring. Uh, or the Nikau dress with that beautiful big dramatic sleeve. So there are a couple that I've got in mind for that. I think either one will just be beautiful in this fabric and I think it'd be lovely with a little um you know like a rust color cardigan or jacket over the top of that really lovely for getting into those cool up months I think those colors really lift the spirits a bit so don't forget that expires on the 30th of May you still have a little bit of time there and yeah as I say think about ordering online if you can't get to a store think about stocking up on some great uh, items some haberdashery items because really if you can save yourself $40 it's quite a good chunk of money there to take advantage of and especially while their things are on sale as well it doesn't exclude sale things it's thing, I think it's for everything sometimes they have um, you know discounts off things at a full price only but I love it when they do the, the whole store basically you can go into and get yourself some Manchester or some pillows and, and some fabric as well so what I'm wearing of course forgot to mention at the start as usual this is the hazel wood top from Tazuti Patterns. Now this is a real favorite of mine. I don't know why I haven't made more of these because I really love the shape of it. It's a really nice boxy kind of shape knit. Now I'll show you up close. The fabric is really bright and leery. It is um, kind of like a French terry, but a really unusual, it's like got a fine rib through it. From Lincraft a couple of years ago now, and I just straight away love that. Um, that really bright vibrant digital print but I love the neckline because I'm not a real lover of turtle or polo necks even though I love how they look on people I find I get really claustrophobic in them so if I make them it has to have a bit of room but I love this it's just that perfect neck sort of height for me and I love the way the cuffs and the facing the hem facing finish you'll see it's got a really nice deep hem facing on that and it gives it a nice swing a nice structure as well so um and the Tazuti visit that I did last week, a lot of you loved that. I'm so glad you all enjoyed that. I have listed the Ponty check that I actually bought. It wasn't online when I when I showed the video, but it is now. If you're interested in purchasing that Ponty check, I have listed it in my video notes now. So did any of you pick up the free pattern that Fibre Mood, uh, I did post on my Instagram. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, head over there and follow Instagram is where I share a lot of sales that I might see happening through the week as well. And this one was a free pattern from Fiber Mood. If you're a subscriber to Fiber Mood or if you just love Fiber Mood itself, think about subscribing to their website because I actually picked up a free pattern. Um, I think there was uh, quite a few people sharing this, which was great. So I got to see that. And I ended up picking up the honey pattern from Fiber Mood, which is a beautiful little uh, blouse with a gorgeous collar with a little frill around it. And I love the way they've styled it in a lovely plaid, like a flannel checked soft fabric there to make a great little blouse with a pair of jeans. So that's one I've got planned to make as well. So thanks to Fibre Mood for that. I know I've spoken to you before about pit trading and how great their Friday night specials are. I have to show you what I picked up last week. For they usually send you out an email stating they're going to have 6 p.m. sale happening and that's for their designer ends and any offcuts and remnants they might have. Now I picked up some great fabrics from there last week. And firstly, this one is a beautiful knit um, it's 1.4 meters of a 150 width uh, mulberry and it's a brushed jumper knit um, that is I think for $20 I got 1.4 meters of that and it's absolutely beautiful and I'm thinking of making some kind of sweater or maybe the Amara vest from Tazidi Patterns and layering that 
I think that would be beautiful to wear. Have a look at the colour of that. It's absolutely stunning. Really, really pretty. And what a great bargain. I think their quality at pit trading is just amazing. And their designer offcuts, of course, are great to pick up as well. The other thing I bought from them was some beautiful brushed jumper knit in this lovely rust colour, which would go perfectly with my Czech fabric from uh, Chizudia that I purchased the other day too. Uh, 1.2 metres for $12. It's paprika mal jumper knit. And I think it's a 140 width. So that was a bargain as well. Love that really really soft cuddly male fabric but yeah pit trading is a great place to pick up some bargains and some remnant offcuts um, you need to be quick you need to set your alarm when you know it's six o'clock and get online there and don't muck around because if you love something it'll be gone in a flash and you'll go to put it in your car and someone will have picked it up so definitely can think about purchasing um, straight away from them and highly recommend the quality of their fabrics as well now Draper's Fabrics is one that I ventured into last week in the city after I headed off to Zudi. I actually went into Draper's in Fitzroy and I filmed a little bit of their store. I'll show you some footage of that. <laughs> Now Draper's Fabrics are also releasing a brand new launch of their own patterns and that is on Sunday the 23rd of May. They are actually having it in their Fitzroy store, a big launch party there. Uh, they've been advertising that on Instagram as well. So keep an eye out too uh, on Instagram for their brand new patterns that they've got. I think three or four different new patterns that look really wonderful as well. So very exciting news for them. There was one particular fabric I went in, I dragged Hubby in, of course, it was his birthday. Here I am taking Hubby into the city for his birthday and I'm dragging him into fabric stores. So of course you have to do that when you're in the city. But I did bribe him and take him out for lunch to Mexican. We had a beautiful meal, which was just up the road. So if you're in Brunswick Street in Fitzroy, there's quite a lot of great little uh, restaurants and cafes there. But definitely uh, Draper Fabric is right opposite the fabric store we have a fabric store uh draper's fabric have beautiful printed linens online i went in to see and they actually hadn't had them in stock yet they do have them online and in their new zealand stores but of course being in australia we get our fabrics a little bit later so she did apologize for that um, but i am really thinking about just ordering us some online because i love the background digital print that these bright vibrant linens i think are really lovely uh, they really speak to me but yeah couldn't get them but ended up venturing back into the fabric store and fabric store at the moment have got a flash sale 25 percent off their entire store online i'm not sure how long it lasts for but it is really well worth heading over to the fabric store and seeing what you can uh pop into your shopping basket and maybe save 25 percent so i'll show you what i have just purchased from them in their store in the city there the first thing i purchased from the fabric store was for using my uh, 30 dollars reward vouchers if you uh, subscribe to the fabric store and you can use like a loyalty point system you can earn yourself a voucher so the last couple of years i've been buying things online from them and got myself a 30 dollars voucher I picked up this beautiful rayon print uh, the stalks i just absolutely love this print and i can see in this in an oversized shirt maybe the assembly line shirt um, I love the pink. I think it would be beautiful with a pink knitted cardigan 
at the sort of hot pink pop um i straight away just this just caught out to me love the print love the fabric um i just think the color the, the bright pop of pink really lifts it as well but um really nice and fresh looking fabric i uh, would love to see a blouse in that one and when i went into this store of course i had this fabric on my mind because i actually saw it online really cheap like eight dollars a meter and thought it would make a great long line either a duster jacket of some kind maybe a pat emporium songbird or even the cambria duster i know the friday pattern company cambria duster can be made in knits and in wovens so this is a really fine basket knit uh, cream color really really pretty and i got four meters of course because the duster does take 3.9 meters it's probably way too much fabric but i think that would look really lovely um, over the top of a lot of my blouses at the moment it's quite warm and snuggly um, but i could also see it in the pattern union uh, felix long line jacket if you use maybe a braided edging which i have seen um, like a plaited edging in spotlight i think it would look really lovely with that um, this is an edging so that one went in with one idea and i've come out with about three other ideas this happens to me all the time but i think Look, for the price of that fabric, it cost me $32 for four metres of fabric. Uh, I think it's well worth it. I think it's uh, going to be a great cuddly, cosy jacket of some kind. We've also noticed that Cloth Edit Gabrielle has put a lot of new fabrics on her new range there. She's got new uh, Japanese cotton fabrics and she's also got some beautiful new linen and silk mix prints that are just absolutely stunning. There's a beautiful hydrangea print, uh, a couple of other, there's a noosa print. I think there's a lovely fern with a beautiful iris flower in there as well so very very pretty fabrics there from Gabrielle so you may not know this but I've actually been very busy sewing I've got quite a lot of new makes to show you uh, I'm going to try and have an episode out with all of my May me made makes out very shortly and don't forget that hashtag me made mates running over on Instagram great place to see all your favorite YouTube vloggers or Instagram people uh, showing their me made makes for May it's a really really big hashtag and a lot of people are getting involved and it makes you really appreciate the whole sewing community the fact that you can create your own wardrobe with me made items is very empowering coming out shortly i've also got a new video with all the brand new patterns exciting patterns coming out for june there's quite a few new ones i need to tell you about i think you're gonna love um what i've been making this week i'm gonna leave for a little surprise but i've also got a new pattern that i bought from hey june handmade and that is a sitka sweatshirt now, i've shown you that one before i really love the um chevron striped version this is uh, either 0 to 20 in a B cup or it is, I think, 14 to 30 in a D cup. So you need to work out your um, bust cup measurements for that one. And even though I'm a D cup bra, I always go for the B cup. And I decided to have a look on Fabric Hunt at the beautiful Mind the Maker sweatshirting range because I've heard really good things about the quality of that. So I worked out with the pattern measurements, you need to look at which particular version you're going to make because you only need a small piece for the front. If you're doing uh, the chevron, you need um, a little bit less again, but the majority for the body and the arms, you need, uh, I think, about a metre. So I've gone to order this beautiful, um, God, gorgeous sage green colour fleece from mine, the maker here from Fabric Hunt. And I just think that is absolutely stunning. Uh, the fleece background, you'll see, really, really good quality. And straight away, you can just feel the quality of this fabric. Um, it is absolutely stunning, and I'm really excited to sew this up. So I'm going to be putting this color with this gorgeous dusty rose color and the cream. So I think those together, the combination, are going to look really lovely in the Sitka. And I think the way I've worked it out is I'm having the cream up near the neck and pink in the middle and the sage on the body and on the arms so really lovely i think that's going to come up really nice now, the only thing i was having a bit of trouble deciding was whether to do the ribbing in the cream around the neck or the sage green i'd love to hear your opinion what do you guys think should i go for the green around the neck or should i go for the cream so yeah it's just one of those things i'm debating on and i know in the in the picture she's got the same color cream around the neck it looks lovely as well um, but i'm doing the three chevron color blocks so they're a bit different again but um 
It's one of those things, you know, when you, if you're like me and you have trouble deciding because you can see so many variations and so many options, you get quite annoying because I just can't make my mind up. Sometimes I have a lot of trouble deciding on things like that and those finer details and it probably wastes way too much time um, sorting those things out. But it's just the way my mind works and I like to be not a perfectionist, but I really like those fine details to be exactly what I'm after I just think if you get that vision in your mind it's nice to be able to pull through with it and um, make something that you've seen uh, yeah really happy with either of those colors but love to hear what your thoughts are with that really enjoying and doing a bit of preparation a bit of planning a bit of making I've had a not so great week myself because after getting back from our beautiful couple of days in the city I actually had a really bad toothache I had a cracked back molar that had a filling in it already and unfortunately had to go and get that tooth extracted which um un yeah unfortunately it wasn't worth saving because the crack was so big in it that even with a root canal surgery it was not going to be uh, one of those things that would, would last so i really had to make that decision and have it pulled out rather quickly and unfortunately for me uh, that gum got infected over the weekend and i was in a lot of pain with that it's it's not pleasant but i'm sure a lot of you guys have been through the same thing you feel that pain radiating up to your ear and under your jaw i just knew straight away that it was, there was infection in there and um the dentist luckily gave me some antibiotics yesterday got onto it quick smart but yeah, antibiotics and me don't get along great and i was you know pretty sick from that but um it's yeah it's hopefully on the men now it feels a lot better today and yeah it's just so nice to be out of pain isn't it now a lot of you have been asking too about my other issue with my pain that i was experiencing that lower left pain around the pelvis area um i haven't had it for quite a while now i am scheduled in to have an mri to check that out i've been to see all my specialists and i'm looking okay so far the gynecologist um said everything looks fine with the ovaries there it's not an ovary issue the gastroenterologist seems to think that it's not ibd after all the inflammation levels are really low so although i had a very mild colitis there it wasn't anything that would cause a lot of pain pain so that's what really I, I actually thought that when I did my uh, elimination diet that the pain was still happening and the food wasn't making much of a difference there but I had found though I related something else back to it and I think the amount of yoga and Pilates I'd been doing had been aggravating something and my acupuncturist actually said to me that she felt it was a muscular issue and I actually thought the same thing so she actually had been treating me through to the psoas muscle which is that rather large muscle on each side that um, basically is very very deep internal muscle that can create a lot of problems that can trigger issues with the gut as well but i think after having you know lots of babies we had five kids there's some kind of damage there or maybe even an internal hernia because from what i've read uh, hernias in women can be very very hard to pick up on scans and you know sometimes things like mris can pick that up or even endoscopy so that is something I'm looking towards really sorting out because of course I've ticked every other box and everything's looking good. Um, yeah, so no IBD and no other gynecological condition there. So I'm thinking it has to be a muscular issue. Uh, and saying that the acupuncture has helped quite a bit and I'm also kind of stopping my yoga and Pilates, which is really sad because I really enjoy them. But I think till I sort out this issue and find out what's going on with me, I, yeah, I think I better back off on all that intense core work. It, yeah, it could be aggravating something, I'd say. So who knows? But yeah, I'm just a bag of misery at the moment, aren't I, everyone? <laughs> no, but seriously, I think really one of my uh, daughters, uh, one of the twins, she's doing a fourth year of OT, occupational therapy, showed me a chart and it, just, it was a graph on how many women, middle-aged women are suffering with chronic conditions and it was off the scale compared to men. As far as our chronic health conditions go, uh, women far outnumber men and we are dealing with so much. I just think uh, a lot of us are, you know, maybe the head, keeping families together, keeping them running, working as well. There's a lot of different issues there that we're going through. So if you're um, dealing with a chronic health condition, I am really sympathizing with you there because I think it'd be incredibly hard. We need to have more support there and look after ourselves a bit more. And for me, my support and looking after myself is more sewing because it's one thing I can do that I can block the rest of the world out. Uh, any worries that might be happening and really a bit of self-care doesn't hurt does it thanks for listening to me today it's nice to have a bit of a chat and to let it all out to somebody and i really hope you've all got someone you can chat to if you've got any issues or problems or even just someone to talk about sewing with is great to catch up with you very shortly for a new episode thanks for sticking around see you soon bye for now